Hey, what's up guys? Chris here from Truth Nutra, and I wanted to today basically just walk through uh, some of the research behind one of the most amazing probiotic strains that I've ever seen, uh, known as Lactobacillus ruteri. So I wanted to put together pretty much a uh, quick summary of some of the more notable research that's been done on uh, this strain of ruteri because it's actually quite amazing and when you really look at the breadth of, of the research that people have done just on this one strain you start to realize how important bacteria and, and the proper flora in, in the human gut how important it really is to our health overall because you start to realize that unlike a lot of other supplements there, there are some supplements out there a lot of them just are focused on like helping one thing or two things uh, however, in the world of probiotics, basically you, you can see massive benefits across many different areas of our of our health. And uh, the strain ATCC 6475 of uh, Lactobacillus ruteri is actually a perfect example of that. It's uh, extremely well researched and has benefits across the spectrum. So let's just look and dive straight into this and, and look at all of the great studies from it. So there, there are a few studies that basically were not actually directly meant to assess weight. And they noted that in these studies, rats given the uh, ATCC 6475 exhibited reduced fat mass relative to control groups, which is really an interesting side effect, a very beneficial side effect. And this was noted thrice weekly. Basically, they were supplemented thrice weekly with male mice over four weeks. And uh, they saw an associated 50% reduction in visceral fat from these mice, which is pretty awesome. Now, another study right here noted that uh, this strain was given to rats of mixed gender, both male and female, at a dose of 3.5 times 105 CFU daily, 20 weeks. Over the course of the study, they, in they inhibited most of the fat gain that was caused by high-fat, what they call Western diets, in the control group. So um, the strain, this particular strain of Ruteri, seemed to inhibit fat gain caused by a, just a, kind of a basic modern diet. Now here's a study showing that oral ingestion of Lactobacillus ruteri uh, 6475 appears to increase interleukin-10 in serum. And uh, what interleukin-10 here in this study, it, it inhibits uh, IL or interleukin 17A. And the inhibition of 17A is also implicated in the improvement of female fertility, which is seen here in this study, uh, testicular function and serum testosterone levels in mice you know, by using this one strain, this ATCC 6475. And uh, they're actually, just so you know, uh, before we get into more research, there, there are certain strains of Ruteri that are more appropriate for supplementation in, in humans, you know, like what we could actually directly take away and use for ourselves uh, than others. And it's ATCC 55730, DSM 17938, and ATCC 6475, which is what this video is about. And they're all known to su survive oral supplementation, even without an enteric capsule. And uh, what people are finding, there's a technique of freeze drying the strains now that makes them um, shelf stable as long as they're not in a warm environment. And they uh, survive quite well, especially even when they're taken orally, they still survive, which is really cool. So in this study down here, uh, we see that ingestion of this strain daily for a year increased te testicular weight from five months onward when uh, placed on a controlled diet. And then these mice were, they were placed on a high fat diet, or when these mice were placed on a high fat diet, the Ruteri negated decreases in testicular weight. So it seems to have a, a kind of a maintenance effect on uh, in situations where you might see a reduction in testicular weight, which testicular weight is usually used to uh, signify or as, as a marker for like increases in sperm quality, sperm motility, uh, spermatogenesis, etc. Uh, so uh, in this study here, they saw that when given this strain, they also improved testicular histology, which basically means that they increased Leydig cell number, which is uh, responsible for the production of testosterone, and seminiferous tub tubule cross-sectional profile, which is a good sign. And uh, this resulted in an increase in testosterone after five months in both the control and the high-fat diet groups, which was actually more pronounced in the high-fat diet group. And uh, in this study right here, I actually saw a, an increase in serum oxytocin when using this. And they actually saw an increase in what they call social grooming, which for, for rats and mice basically means uh, it's kind of like they're getting more frisky basically with each other. So that's that's pretty cool. The oxytocin, it's, uh, as you know, you know, released when people uh, are in love, um, makes you feel good. 
so a bit more on on this particular strain which is why it's so good uh, when the supplementation of this strain for 20 to 24 weeks increased fur quality within seven days of female mice and uh, there was no significant effect in the males which is really interesting there's definitely a kind of a visible benefit for women it seems for or females uh, as most of these studies in probiotics are done in, in mice or rats there there seems to be a, a significant help in growing hair in females but not in men sadly you know but uh, we may see some, we may find some more research showing that it might help men as well there is an increase in uh, showing uh, skin quality like increasing skin quality like thickness of skin which is really good too basically this increase in fur quality is thought to be related to an increase in proliferation and activity of follicular sebacytes that are noticed with the ATCC 6475 relative to a control. And this actually didn't occur in mice that were lacking the interleukin-10, like we mentioned earlier. Now in mice, oral ingestion of this strain of Ruteri uh, was noted to actually decrease vaginal pH in the female mice, which occurred alongside, again, in this study showing impro improvements in fur luster. So there, there's definitely a uh, hypothesized pro-fertility effect since vaginal acidity correlates with ages of peak fertility and here are two studies to show that and then the phenotype that's induced by supplementation i.e the increased hair luster and skin quality was one which displays health and reproductive fitness and last but not least there is actually a study showing that this atcc 6475 l ruteri strain has been noted to actually increase apoptosis of leukemia cells which apoptosis for those who don't know is cell death uh, programmed cell death so it can actually According to this study, I'm not trying to make this medical claim, but it, it can actually, according to this study, increase the cell death of leukemia cells, which is a very interesting anti-cancer finding. So here's a good question. Where can you find ATCC6475, the strain of Lactobacillus ruteri? Uh, actually, we have it in, I'm the co-founder of Truth Nutra, and we, because of all these amazing effects of the strain, we've included this strain in our probiotic Florasil 50 and uh, Florasil 50 contains Lactobacillus ruteri, uh, this specific strain of it, ATCC 6475, as well as seven other amazing strains, all with a ton of research behind them showing their effectiveness uh, for myriad health benefits. Florasil 50 is an incredible supplement and we designed it for daily use. It is strong enough at 50 billion CFUs, it's strong enough to really help get rid of some more uh, severe issues. However, it is also balanced enough to be taken on a daily basis. So it's definitely, obviously it's my favorite probiotic. It's very well designed. There's a massive mountain of research behind all the different strains that are included in it. And uh, if you want to learn more about it, you can find out more information on truthnutra.com or near this video, uh, what you might see is a uh, button or a link that's uh, showing you where to find out more about Floriso 50. So thanks for watching this video. I hope you learned something more about uh, Lactobacillus ruteri, ATCC 6475. And uh, thanks for watching.